Good day, my ladies. Welcome to another episode of Number Black Plague. In this episode, uh, in the last episode, we uh, had a nightmare, and that's all I remember from watching the last video because that was the only part I took interest in. You also remembered Red. I had to do some backtracking. I got for some reason I started back at the part where we. Uh, I started back at the part where the worm was chasing us and I failed again even without fresh recording. So let's see what this valve does. Oh. Huh. Oh god. This is a... Uh... I don't like underwater drains. For some reason I am deathly afraid of them. And I do not want to fall off these boxes. Oh fuck, fuck you, fuck, 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 fuck. Yes, I made it! Huzzah! My torch is running out of power. Okay, I should probably add one of my fresh batteries. I can do this by opening the inventory and drag and drop the battery onto the torch or simply double click on it. I see, so I did it the simple way. I'm going to do it the proper way. I don't know what the point of these three boxes were, but I will not question it. Or why they they were even down there, actually. An exit. I would love to get out of here. Yeah, I bet it smells. Jeez, that was fast. Okay. We're out of here. Excuse me, that's my parents in the background. Ooh, ooh, my nose. I just have massive migraine there, sorry. God damn it, I was thirsty. I think I can do without going back into the sewers. Nothing down there. Batteries. I've had better days. You can't really see yourself in the mirror, dude. Oh. Judging from the smell, I'd say the piping isn't working. Okay, well I'll follow your advice, Philip. 
cut that flashlight runs down fast, doesn't it? Why can't I Fine, I'll leave you to it then. Whoa. Whoa. Although the fuse box is rusty and worn, it seems to be working. I see. Let's save. Every time it's hard to pull out. Every time I feel more of myself inside. It's weird. Trippy. I'd be freaked out if that was happening. It won't start. I don't think it has any power. Nothing to say, Philip? A chart of some kind. Traditional art. The only art I, re I really know how to appreciate. <clears throat> this mattress smells just marginally better than the rest. Even though someone's s pissed on it still. The TV is in poor condition. Apart from some dust-covered books, the shelf is really empty. Well, we could sit down. Can we lift the TV? No. Oh, well, that got the power working. Oh, really? Let's watch some TV then. It's not exactly dark for me. But, it'll get dark soon enough. Oh, what the hell? Won't open. The door seems to have some kind of electronic lock. Okay. It's... A fine. <coughs> Attention! Incoming video chat! What? Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Uh. Hello, can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, uh, uh. very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. That's not me. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Where'd that come from? The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter you need to find a survivor and get through into the library oh and look out for our medical guy Richard Eminis he was acting strangely when I last saw him he's infected hmm. what else don't you know let's see watch out for signs of infection Present and accounted for. did did you say something Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Enough already. My sides are splitting. Okay. Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we just talked to a lady. Virus research. Report number two. Turn gut virus field notes. A Amabel Swanson. Hey, that's the lady we just talked to. Infection process. The worst thing about my job. Death helps. No, wait. 
The worst thing about my job, death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, hold up in the old mess hall. Research subjects, three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. Contracted the virus. Okay, that's annoying. With every infection, the process, the life cycle of this virus becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented sy symptoms, there seems to be some some final stage during the during which the organism fully takes hold. <sighs> okay. All right. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected report strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories. Some kind of mental obstacle course. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed up, being swallowed by some inescapable dark force, shortly after which we lose them for good. If these experiences are, as they seem to be, some form of mental representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as to what might occur with a patient to e to with a patient to escape the hallucination. Additional note, today, Dr. Eminus confided in me that he has had just such an experience. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. So, being chased by a series of them, um, maybe we're infected. I doubt it, but you never know. So, let's get the door working again. Infected. I'd skipped a beat when I heard that word in association with me, so we are infected. Still, it seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice hadn't hurt either, but by that point, I was pre pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. Uh, what kind of crazy? You confuse me, man. You confuse me, Philip. Well, if we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. Excuse me. There's an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature, and yet I find myself at a loss. Any ideas, monkey? Don't call me a monkey. That's a lot of films. What's the half? You only got the first half of it's a wonderful life in here. Really? Oh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. <laughs> you know, Clarence, that's not a bad thing. I am something of a guardian angel. Can you stop fucking with me, please? Thank you, Clarence. There's something blocking the door on the other side. What might that be? Something. Is that a barrel or something? It's either locked or jammed shut. Either way, I'm not going to get through. It's either locked or jammed shut. Either way, I'm not going to get through. I assume this is locked as well. Library. The door won't open. However, it seems to be connected to that scare device. Maybe it's a lock. Excuse me, that was my father there. <laughs> it's a palm print and retinal scanner. Okay. Storage, that way. Infirmary, that way. Computer central, that way. We'll go to the storage. Hmm. 
Machine room is also this way. It's a map of the area. So storage is up there. Okay. That's good to know. Armory. What can we find in the armory? Empty storage boxes. Okay. Oh, saw. Rusty with worn edges. Is this the exact same saw I had before? Yeah. Oh shit. What, like in a sexual way, or... Oh shit, fuck. No one? Oh, did you see his shadow? It's creepy. So, Clarence, you like saws? Rusty saws? Is that like in a sexual way because you're kind of alien or you're actually or you just you like me because I like you just feel badass with rusty saws the same way I do with hacksaws. He sounds fucking disgusting. <coughs> Why don't I do that? Ooh. No, 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 don't. Well, now the doors are broken. That's that's always nice. Well, he's where I need to go. Oh! Nothing. Oh! Fucking hell! I'm legging it. Oh! What the fuck? Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I can hear something coming from behind that door. Well, I don't think it's your imagination. Storage. Savaged, inf infected, terrified. Now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy. Even me. Regardless, I needed to find a way through and into the library. Well, something just exploded. It sounded like a spider. There seems to be someone lying in that room. What's happened to him? I can't really see from here. Well, uh, that guy's dead, obviously. The beans will trigger the explosives for sure. Better stay out their way. Maybe we can use my elite hacking skills. I just gotta figure out the code. No, that just reset everything. Well, that did it. Yes! I am smirt. Oh. It seems, yeah, the visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. Um. If I can just... There, you see? It's like molding clay. 
That's cool, Clarence. You while you're showing off your logical problem solving, let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. Right. Okay. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve. Sorry. Beh, beh, beh. I'm moving, moving. So I can't do anything with this. So Tommy Clarence, a, a label reads hazardous materials. Take necessary precautions before opening. I wonder what those materials are. So you know what, Clarence? You know it's not other. You you know it's not of a simplistic design. Facial recognition. For some reason, I can recognize. Uh, yes, Philip. For some reason, I can recognize uh, old classmates from photos from back in two thousand five and four. Rations and supplies fill these shelves. The label says that these boxes were sent from Alaska. Looks heavy and welded shut. Ow, fuck. Ow. Theoretic effects of controlled something. Dr. Richard Eminus. Theoretic effects of controlled infection. Reports requested by Overseer Frisk. On behalf of the elevated. For the record, I see no value in recording this information at such an early stage at such an early stage in the project. However, were we to assume that the virus could somehow infect a host Sorry but if, if, if someone of this affect a host without fully content fully taking control of its upper brain functions, we might observe the following. Fact. Translator Lafresque, in his ignored efforts to prevent the release of the virus, correctly predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host's motor, neurons, motor neuron functions. Theory. Where an instant of the infection controlled and sustained, we may find that A, the virus seeks to keep its host alive in whatever way possible. Suicide would be against the rules. And that B, the virus gains control over some or or all sensory faculties. Facilitating just such an objective. Fact, when the virus infects the host of any species, it adapts the organism's brain functions as best it, as best as it can to hold its own purposes. With the virus unable to fully take hold, it may develop some partitioning of the host's consciousness, effectively perverting a small corner of the host mind into a form of secondary personality. Ah, sorry, I have a cold, by the way. Just so I'd let you guys know that. The Turngate virus was released from, according to Lafresque, a tomb many centuries old. Theory, where some mental segmentation to occur, it seems plausible to suggest that each personality, the virus and the hosts, may have access to one another's memories. Given the age of the virus, this may be a substantial collection. It should be carefully noted that the bulk of the above remains conjecture and should not be relied on upon in be relied upon in any archaic protocol. I'm I'm not you. I'm part of something larger. We are nothing. We are a mistake. I need to rejoin them. Yes. Me. Let me out. Um, this is not right. I should be with them. I am them. They got my head. This is not the first time another was infected. Red, he so wanted to, but we would not let him die. You bastard. 
Did he call us a disease? I get the feeling that Clarence might have uh, been with Red for a long time, but he couldn't commit suicide because apparently it is against the rule because the virus will keep him alive. So it was true. The beans will trigger the explosive shore best out of the way. Not if I can help it. I will figure out this puzzle. Just give me a second. Thank God for that. I'm going to fast forward that. Maybe. I hope. The computer is higher than the fucking sun. They're still inside, I'm still inside, but I don't want to get out. Yeah, well, oh god. Looks like his face melted. I think I'm going to be sick. I'm asked with airflow filters for use in toxic environments. Well, I'm yoking that. Here we go. Well, that got super fucking creepy. What's up with the music? I don't like it. Some sort of plant in the ground, perhaps in an industrial scale? Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> yeah, that looks nasty. What's up with the music? Shit. That nearly fell on me. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, fuck me. Spider, spider, spider. Fuck off. Fuck you. What? Ah. Uh, you dick. Fuck you, Clarence. You're my new enemy. I thought I heard some furious fapping. Oh, 
Oh! Oh fuck! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck your life! Nope! Oh god! Hi, 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 hi! I'm gonna have to run past him. All right, come at me, bro! Come the fuck at me! Come on! Oh, holy shit! Ha! You can't get out! Oh, fuck me! Oh, it's canteen. Over there's kitchen. Surprisingly close. Computer central. Let's go there. Fuck. Did you see that guy's dick? I saw something around his groin. Well, this looks comfortable. Okay, so that'll do me. Anyway, my ladies, that was a number Black Plague. Um, this game I've said it before, and I'll say it again: this game is not nice. Yeah, that was very, very scary. Goodbye, my ladies.